and she's not even gonna stay out here. Oh man, getting inside. A fr her stablemate's head as Kimberly oh! soars through the air with the suicide dive. Team cunt right now. Kimberly with the advantage. Thinking she had a tag title match headed in tonight. Very angry about this. And she's a woman you do not want to piss off. Yeah. Her I mean, and Anna Social. Story short, Sassy Stephanie said she was never given the date for today, but let's face it, she's working elsewhere. And uh, I think Jessica Havoc was well within her right to put that shit on blast just a few moments ago because Sassy Stephanie did the same when Jessica Havoc, who was in transit to her flight after competing for FIP in October, her car had broken down. She was unable to make her flight. She was unable to compete here against Athena in her scheduled match. But uh, what was scheduled was a tag team title defense today between the Midwest Militia and Annie Social and Kimberly. And so because Sassy Stephanie very selfishly decided that she was going to be competing elsewhere, not, not only is that money out of the pocket of Annie Social, that's also robbing Annie Social and Kimberly the opportunity once again to challenge for the tag team titles. I think the Midwest Militia is ducking Annie Social and Kimberly. That's just my two cents. It's very possible that could be the case, but Kimberly's making Allison K pay for it tonight. Allison K, you gotta wonder what Jessica Havoc said. How is that affecting her mindset heading into this one? Kimberly's had the advantage the entire time as she ascends to the top oh! and gets caught with that kick. Kick that might have also hurt the knee of AK-47. Uh, Kim Kimberly was a little bit under the weather last night. We saw her competing in the first round of the International J Cup. And unfortunately, was disposed of rather yeah. handily by Barbie Hayden. But I talked to her today. She said she got a full night's sleep. She's ready. She's rip and ready to go, but just a miscalculation right there. Oh, man. Did you just see the skin rippling on the midsection of Kimberly from the kick of Allison Kane? You know, I was talking about the mindset. She was thrown off her game maybe by what Jessica Havoc said. Instead, I think it just made her more violent, more intense, more determined to beat Kimberly down. You know, I think it's also worth pointing out that Allison K was not in attendance at the Uncensored Rumble Six back in August, which Sassy Stephanie gave her a pass for because she was competing overseas in Japan where she just completed a three-month tour this summer. Hey, that's a dream of any woman. You know, any of woman any athlete. Wrestler, of yeah, any yeah, really. Absolutely. To be able to hone your craft and travel the world, it can't get any better than that. But Sassy Stephanie very specifically saying that it was unacceptable for Jessica Havoc to not be in, a, in, in attendance to defend the WSU world title. And while we had a tag team title defense scheduled for today, where's Sassy Stephanie? But nevertheless, we do have two competitors in the ring right now. You do think that the next time Allison Kay and Stephanie, Sassy and Stephanie are in the same building at the same time, Annie Social and Kimberly are going to get their title shot. And what happens today? What if Allison Kay defeats Kimberly? What does that say about the possibilities of the tag title shot? I mean, that may help her momentum going into that inevitable tag title shot. Yeah. But I don't, you know, this is a singles contest. Kimberly, oh, wow. getting spunky. Parada chops, a nice drop kick. Taken down AK-47, though. You know, these are two of the fastest rising stars in all of women's wrestling. Yeah, you think about it. Kimberly's been around for like three years now. Already made a name for herself. Incredible herself. Already progress. been in Japan. Incredible progress. That's the thing about Alice AK. She can get it done as a singles competitor. She can get it done as a tag team wrestler against the men, against the women. That is why we've seen this meteoric rise. But one thing that I like out of both of the tandems is that oh. they have that veteran in the corner to help them grow. Sassy Stephanie is the veteran. Her guidance has helped Alice AK in the past. And obviously, Kimberly, although she has not turned to any social, if she chooses to do so, any social is ringside here to support Kimberly. Uh oh. Well, Kimberly's in the ropes. Yeah, well, 
Alice and Kay's trying to slap away the hands. This could just be a psych out move by Kay, making Kimberly feel like she can't be safe anywhere inside that squirrel circle when she's in the ring with Alice and Kay. Oh, there you go, the lack of safety. Five minutes gone by in this one, and Alice and Kay has really dominated the last half of this contest thus far. I mean, Kimberly. She took that incredible risk with that dive to start things out, but who knows how much damage she could have possibly done to herself. And now we've got this stranglehold applied. Allison K, very calculated. Oh, just oh, curb stopping. Man. man, oh man. That could be a knockout blow. The fans asking for one more time, Allison K. Oh, instead of arguing with the fans, should have went right in the pin because she could have had this match won. Cross chopping her way into Buddha. Are you almost gonna wonder how much Allison K can focus on this match, knowing what Jessica Havoc just said and what that means for the future well, of the Midwest Militia? She's just gotta block it out for this contest. The minute she gets to the back, she can talk to Jessica Havoc all she wants yeah, about her this. Her and Havoc can hash it out. I wonder if Allison K is gonna be in Havoc's corner later on tonight when Jessica Havoc defends the WSU world title oh. in a one on one match for the first time ever in Lexus. Octopus version of the tarantula by Kimberly. Ooh, caught right in the side of the head with that boot as well. Kimberly stringing together some valuable and violent offense, going up high. There we see the drop kick finding the mark. But she isn't able to follow up on it right now. Kimberly, we've seen just how tough she is, willing to take two or three licks just to get one in herself. And again, a maneuver like that with that drop kick from the top rope. A drop kick from the top rope. I mean, let's face it, you're doing damage to yourself just as you are to your opponent. But both athletes now struggling to get to their feet, trying to beat that 10 count. And we don't want to see this one end in a draw. The referee calling off the count. Kimberly with a shot to the quad. We've seen it. Kimberly in control of the early going. Alice Kay taking advantage of the second half. Now Ooh. we're back at a stalemate. So evenly contested, these two. I'll connect him with a shot to the chest. Kicked her right in the quad again. Just harsh blows, harsh kicks. Well, that time going for the head. Wiping out. Caught her leg, misses with the Enzakuri. Some great counters, oh. they both kicked each other right in the mouth. Kimberly with that dancing background gets a great leg oh. extension. But right now she's going to her fist of fury. What is Allison K going for? Well, it looks like she was trying to get some separation, try and regain her composure on the floor. But as she was charging out of the ring, we had Kimberly with that waist lock. Oh, Dumped with the German suplex. Jesus! But look at Kimberly. Gonna give her credit for her toughness. Firing the freak up. Oh! Now with her own style, got suplex. Oh! Allison K is spent. That's gonna do it. Oh, oh! How close was that? Not enough in the tank and left in the tank of K to fire back up after the German, but enough to kick out. She collapsed right into a heap of herself. Oh man! And right there, Kimberly. Perhaps planning her next attack, it's called the submission predicament. Trapping the arm, hyper extending it while she's trying to apply some pressure to the chin and neck. Go for a cross arm breaker. Yeah, it's hard to tell from my vantage point. Perhaps looking for a go-go plata, or maybe even a triangle. Nevertheless, while doing damage to the arm, she wasn't able to put Kimberly away. This is the Allison K that's got her focus back, we believe. I don't know what she's going for now. Oh, what you got right there? She's got oh, some brass knuckles. Annie Social's brass knuckles. Usually stored in the biggest part of her body, but this time they were free. Oh! Slamming her head first back in the canvas. And that's enough for Kimberly to pick up the victory. Hopefully, next time Kimberly and Allison Kay are in the ring, they will have their respective partners by their side. Kimberly will have Annie Social. Allison Kay will have Sassy Steph. Tag Team Championships will be on the line.